Hello everybody. I am Julia Patrick Inkasan from Department of Rehabilitation Medicine in Steam Laya, Malaysia. And I am going to talk briefly about uh, an article published in DMCN titled Does Rapid Compare to Slow Withdrawal of Anti-Epileptic Drugs Cause Increased Risk of Seizure Recurrence? A Cochrane Review Summary with Commentary. So this is a summary of this article titled Rapid versus Slow Withdrawal of Anti-Epileptic Drugs by Ro et al. published in 2020. Epilepsy is a chronic central nervous system disorder that is tendency to have recurrent epilepsy and one third of people requires one or more anti-epileptic drugs. Unfortunately, prolonged anti-epileptic drug use is associated with adverse effect and primary physician might consider withdrawal of anti-epileptic drug once the patient is in remission. What are the questions that needs to be answered with regards to withdrawal of anti-epileptic drugs? First is the timing. When after seizure, duration of seizure free, can this be done? Second is on the rate. Does it matter if it's rapid or slow withdrawal rate? And what the outcome that people are interested in is that does any of these two items or two factors influence seizure recurrence? So the aim of this systematic review is to determine the risk of seizure recurrence after rapid or slow discontinuation of AED in adults and children with epilepsy who are in remission. And rapid and slow tapering is uh, defined as three months, three months cutoff period, right? And the second aim is to assess which variables modify the risk of seizure recurrence. This is a, a simple description of PICO for this review. So the population involved were adults and children who have epilepsy who are in remission. There are two interventions being compared here. One is rapid versus low withdrawal of medication. And the outcome of interest is seizure freedom, status epilepticus, mortality, and morbidity. The search for primary article was done up to April 2019 in these databases. Cochrane Register of Studies, Medline, WHO, International Clinical Trial Registry Platform, and Scopus. There were only two studies included in this review. One, uh, one is by Tennyson et al. published in 1994, another one by Sarah et al. published in 2005. There is no significant difference in the risk of seizure recurrence between rapid and slow withdrawal rate, right? And this outcome was uh, measured at one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years post-withdrawal. Other outcomes that are being reported include this. Presence of mental retardation and spike of EEG at the start of tapering period were found to be associated with higher risk of seizure recurrence. And time to recurrence of seizure following withdrawal range from as early as 10 days to four years and five months with the mean of 13.2 months. The, uh, the certainty of evidence for all the outcomes was very low. There is no firm conclusion regarding the optimal rate of tapering of AEDs because of methodological deficiencies and small sample size of the two included studies. Thus, further randomized control trials are needed to determine the optimal rate of tapering of AED in people in remission. With that, I thank you all for listening.